going to talk rain, we're going to talk cooling, we're going to talk reheating. But first, that's right, we're just a day away, and we're a day away from really temperatures on the hot side with heat indices around 107 degrees. So, ooh wee, it's going to be hotter than a firecracker on the 4th of July. I love this time of year. All right, happy 4th in advance, everyone. All right, so hot and humid, rain chances increase cooler for a few days with a little bit of rain. That's taking effect already. We'll show you in a second or two. 97 degrees today. We've been as high as 102 back in 1917. All right, you're seeing some winds. We were gusting around a little bit earlier because we have storms in the, uh, to the north of Texas that are really um, assembling all the way up through to the Great Lakes. That little bit of a pull and some of our high pressure systems, yeah, we're a little gusty, but then we had the rainstorms coming through and that uh, slowly elevated some of our winds as well. Speaking of the rain, here we are on radar. So what happens now? We have high pressure, hot day out there, sun shining away, destabilizing the atmosphere. It was strong enough to overcome the cap, the lid, the high pressure pushing down. And we're seeing some areas of some showers and they cooled down some locations as well. You saw a temperature drop where most of that rain was taking place, which I'll show you in a second. But heat advisories, a little bit of the viewing area to the southwest. Most of them, though, staying to the southwest of the area down in the Corpus area. Yesterday, we missed all these warnings completely. They stayed out of the viewing area, but hey, those are going to return. And right, here's our dew points. So moisture is on the lower side. Heat indices are uh, reminiscent of that. Look at that, 58 in Beeville in the 60s in some spots. We were pretty much 80s throughout. So it's kind of spotty now, not a universal uh, hot, super muggy kind of uh, atmosphere that we saw for the last two to three weeks. But we're not out of the woods by any means. That'll all return. Real feel of 101, but hey, just a couple days ago, real feel of 112, 117, 119. These have come down, but we have the potential to see them return uh, pretty close to that 115 degree mark. So we're a little bit lower during the week, 107, 107. Now we're expecting some showers. With the moisture, those heat indices would go up, but then with the rain, that would hit the ground and that would cool our temperature. So it's gonna be a fine balance. Uh, they're gonna battle it out during the week, the atmosphere that is, from, from the moisture, the heat, and the cooling, and the rain, and everything else. So high pressure down in the eastern Gulf. High pressure's up there in the Pacific Northwest area. And then, so what that, that airflow is doing is really pushing moisture up into South Texas. With that moisture running into some disturbances, then you got the sea breeze, then you got the sun destabilizing us. All of that, you combine it, yeah, we are seeing some showers and rain chances will increase Wednesday, maybe even into Sunday. I'm going with a, a few days of 40%, maybe as high as 60%. So yeah, let's break it down on the future tracker. So Wednesday, yeah, we can start to see some showers, at least a heavier amount of rain in the area, but none of this looks to be a washout by any means. We get some showers here and there, because right now the showers very, very scattered and minuscule across the area. Some spots staying completely on the dry side. Here's a marine forecast. 90 for the water, seas two to three, two to three feet, keeping our base on the choppy side. Nothing in the way of storm activity for the next couple of days. We had Hurricane Adrian out in the Pacific a couple of days ago, but it started to dissipate. So 77 degrees overnight for tomorrow, 95, 107. Look ahead to the rest of the week. Ooh wee, it's gonna be hotter than a firecracker on the 4th of July with a heat indice of 107 degrees. Look ahead to the rest of the week. We might have those rain chances and with that rain, gonna drop our temperatures down.